Well, hello, thank you for joining me today again on the Church History Trail. And where we are today is we're back in Cookstown and we're in what's known as Drum Manor Forest Park. And you can see the lovely pond there down the bottom and you can walk around that pond and the lovely trees. And you can also see Drum Manor, or at least what's left of it. It's only a shell really now, apart from the tower. And you could have you couldn't have went right up to the top of the tower, but the last time I was here, you could um, actually get into the, the grounds. And part of the what well, was the house is now was made into a garden. But uh, they have barriers up now because uh, I've noticed that some of the rocks have fallen, some of the boulders, the, the bricks. So it's classed as being dangerous. So you can't get get actually into the ground itself, but we can have a look uh, around it. And of course, Drum Manor uh, was formerly known as Oaklands. And one source that I came across said that it was actually established around seven, the 1780s by uh, a gentleman called Major William Stuart Richardson Brady. That's quite a mouthful to get out. But uh, another source says that he actually rebuilt the manor house and that there was actually a manor house here from uh, 1617 by uh, a guy called Alexander Richardson and uh, so it's believed that he that uh, actually there, there was a house here um, before Major uh, Richardson built the present day one which you're looking at and of course he built that in 1829 so it was definitely very impressive in its day, there's no doubt about that. So we'll go up and have a look. And you can see the view. So this would have been the garden where we have just come from here. As you can see the barriers there, so we can't get in unfortunately. You certainly get a magnificent view from here. As you can see, beautiful. You can see the pond down be below. So, this is Drum Manor. And you can see trees and all inside there. Inside basically the shell of the house. And the reason for that is because this was actually turned into a pleasure garden. So it was, as you can see, and you can see the brickwork there. So this has actually turned into a pleasure garden. And as I say, you could have walked in there, but not now because of the, of the bricks falling. So I'll take you around and let you see. You can see the castellate part of it at the top there. If I agree up. And there's trails you can follow here. Just a pity now that they have these up today or I took these in, but sometimes that's what happens. Now if you're coming here by car, it's four pound in. So it is. There you can see the crest. And you'll see another one around, one of them around the back, which is really, I suppose, the front of the house. 
But unfortunately, we can't get in today, night. You can see the where the brickwork's falling there. As you can see. We bit mucky here. As you can see, danger. Keep out, and that's because of those blocks laying there. You certainly don't want one of them falling on you. The architecture here is fantastic, even though it has a shell. Absolutely brilliant. Look at that there, isn't that amazing? Fantastic. So this is really the front of the house. The grand ant the entrance, as you can see. Amazing. Wonder could I get my hand in there. That must see if I can. Just about. Don't want to drop my camera. Because if I drop it, I'll not get it. Well, there is a way in like, but I'd rather not have to go in if I can help it. So there we go. That's about the best I can do for you. And you can see the crest. Definitely some place in its day. No doubt about it. And you can see there the crown. As well. Look at the size of the window upstairs. My goodness. And even downstairs as well. And then that's the tower, and you can see what that reminds me of there is, you know, the Crusaders. And also, it would remind you too of like a battlement, you know, where you, where you put your bow out or your, your musket, like a musket loop. <laughs> but also the Crusaders were the sign of the cross, if you remember, on their chest. So they did. So pretty amazing. And as I say, it's a, there's a forest park here as well. And in the summer, I was in the summer, I think the last time I was here, and uh, it's packed in the summer. So it's not totally summer yet, so there's not too many about, which is good. But uh, don't know if you'll be able to see in here or not, but we'll give it a go for you. You probably won't. The window is very dirty, so I don't know if you've seen in there or not. Pretty amazing, isn't it? Look at the size of that tree there, my goodness. You don't really appreciate the size of that tree on camera. If someone would stand beside it, you would. It's massive. They're big enough then, but that one there, my goodness. Then this is the side of the building. And you can see the wall right around there. So this would have been pretty nice in its day. 
I certainly wouldn't have fancied cleaning it. You would have just got finished when you'd had to start all over again. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take you a wee walk down here because there's another crest that I want to show you belonging to the Stuarts. Of course the Stuarts were of uh, Castle Stuart near Dungallon and there is a connection between the Richardsons and the Stuarts through marriage. So I'll take you a wee walk down here and as you can see the lake absolutely beautiful isn't it so I'll take you a wee walk down this way first to show you the lake And then I'll, I want to show you the crest. Obviously the crest must have been on the house at some stage, but it's, it's not there now, it's, it's in another part of the park here. Beautiful, isn't it? Now you're coming down to the lake. Well, it's a pond, but it's a big pond, put it like that. Beautiful. So I'm not gonna go any further because the further I walk down, then I have to walk the whole way back up again. But what I will do is I will zoom down and let you see that. Beautiful, isn't it? Beautiful. So there you are. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a wee shortcut here and try and get back on track. Beautiful, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful. So I hope you're enjoying our wee Sunday afternoon dander. There you can see the lovely bluebells. And then there is the garden, which I will show you in another wee video, but not in this one, because we are near 15 minutes. But I do want to show you, it's a wee bit mucky here, I do want to show you the uh, crest before I wrap this wee video up. So if you live in the area, the Cookstown area, why don't you uh, get the kids in the car and come here for a day in the summer. And as I say, it's four pound in, but it's well worth it. And you also have, as you will see, a wee uh, coffee stand with ice cream and stuff. There's the wall. Pretty unique. So we're going to wrap this wee video up very shortly, but I just want to show you the crest first, 
and then that will do it and then I'll show you the uh, gardens but there you can see you also have a, a wee ice cream coffee stand as you can see and this is Drum Manor Forest Park map so we are here and there's the ponds and that's the butterfly garden there's the manor house where I had you and so there's different wee walks you can do that's a big walk, massive walk so I won't be doing that one and uh, that's known as the forest plots they planted those trees there so this is what I want to show you here isn't that amazing? that's some size of a crest isn't it? quite unique it certainly is fantastic and very artistic as well I like the helmet with the crown on it absolutely brilliant but even the smaller decorations on it are absolutely fantastic so there you go so that's Drum Manor and uh, I wanted to show you that wee crest before the, we wrap this video up so if you enjoy the channel then please like subscribe and also share the channel and uh, also hit the notification bell God bless and thanks for watching.